in the previous video we were talking about um, the fact of actually doing as many uh, long dives as possible DNF with the monofin or bifins in training in order to arrive at competitions with the right mindset, uh, in order to uh, maintain also during training the uh, mentality of doing long dives without actually um, uh, letting too much time pass by without doing long dives so that we might lose that mental adaptation of doing long dives in the pools. So, uh, in this case, what I mean with long dives, uh, let's uh, uh, discuss this topic more specifically. Basically, I think uh, uh, long dives uh, is at least 80% of your personal best. So let's, let's say your personal best uh, with the monofin is 100 meters. Well, I'd suggest you to at least do 150 meters at least once per week at least once per week, um, 150, 160, uh, 160, not more than that, uh, per week, in order, you know, to keep uh, the mind, the mental, the mental, you know, uh, adaptation to that kind of business, you know. With 160, uh, with the morphin, we already uh, are working on hypoxia easily, and so um, our mind is also, you know, uh, stay adapted to doing those kind of businesses, so to do at least 70-80% of our PB. Uh, that's extremely important. It doesn't matter when in training you do it, it's important you, you do it at least once per week. You can enter the water directly and do 160. In this case, of course, in this example, if your PB is 200 meters, you can enter the water directly, no warm up and do 160. Or otherwise, you can actually do some uh, warm ups before, some short dives, and then go for the 160 and uh, uh, long dives for 80%, 70-80% of your PB. Uh, remember, it's important to do it at least one per week, once every 10 days. Not making, you know, uh, pass too much time without doing this because uh, it's extremely important to maintain uh, the right uh, mental adaptation, you know. Uh, in order to be able to uh, face uh, whenever it needs uh, this kind of distances and to be capable of doing long dives when, uh, when it's required and when the right competition is gonna come. So it doesn't matter when, uh, if at the end of training it's okay, if you wanna do it at the beginning of training it's okay, if you wanna do it in the middle of training it's okay, if you're working on, on CO2 tables and then at some point at the end of training you wanna try uh, 160 uh, and 80 percent of your pb doesn't matter the distance depends 80 70 percent of your pb uh, or if you want to do it at the start at the end it doesn't matter um, you can also stop your co2 tables for a while and do the 70 80 percent of your pb dive uh, doesn't matter when uh, i prefer personally to do it just at the start without no warm-up so I, i'm arriving at the pool and i just uh, breathe, relax, and go for the long dive. 70-80% of my PB in training, uh, because in this way I can mentally simulate the competition mindset, where I go at the pool uh, in the competition zone. I relax, breathe, I do no warm ups, and I go directly for the long dives. So I prefer to do at the beginning my uh, long dives in training, my 70-80% uh, PB dive. Um, and not in the middle, not at the end, uh, just at the start, because I'm in this way I, I can get mentally closer to the competition mindset, you know, and to the competition conditions. But it doesn't matter when uh, you do it, you can do it in the middle, you can do it in the end of the training, it doesn't really matter. It's extremely important you do this 70-80% uh, dive of your personal best at least once per week, or at least once every 10 days.